In this next method of smooth deserts, we are going to use the help of a height map to generate the basic noise of the desert. More specifically, the height map of beach sand. If we start off with the base file we used in the previous video, then we are sure to have our dune profile and sediment to already be what we want. We're just going to be changing the overall noise that's affected throughout the entire terrain. Let's also, for now, make sure the wind, noise, and distort filters are off so we can work with just the basic shape of the imported height map. So to use the height map, click Add under the Filters tab, navigate to the Effect category, then select Height Map on the left side. Go ahead and click Add and Close. From here, click the Empty Texture box down below. Since we already ha had imported the texture from Megascans in the previous episode, let's use its height map as our terrain pattern first. We had it located in the ground tab under the project's library. So select the texture, then make sure that the height map texture is selected at the bottom. There's a little checkbox you should be able to see. Click change, and then once you click change, you'll see that nothing has really changed at all. That's because our height map scale is one meter by one meter. Let's increase it to fit our terrain size. Based on this texture and through trial and error, a scale of 10,000 by 12,000 seems to fit best. Next, we need to adjust our details a bit from the level step strength sliders at the bottom that this height map affects. This height map produced the best results with levels 7 at 100 and levels 5 and 6 at around 50. We also want to add a little extra height to the effect, so let's make sure that our height scale is somewhere between 5 and 10. From here, we have a pretty decent low-lying set of dunes, don't you think? We can even turn on our other filters to add more variation if desired. And for noise, I'm just going to make sure its effect is around 50 because I think it's a little too strong. Let's go ahead and try one other height map. We're going to go ahead and turn off noise and distort, as well as turn off our first height map and make sure that we go through the process of creating a new one. So select the correct texture, set it to fit my terrain size, adjust the level strength to your needs. This one works best with a height of around two. And let's go ahead and turn on just our distort and let's see what it looks like. Not bad either. Let's do one last one. And I personally like this one the best of them all. Go through the same process of adding another height map and make sure the other height map is turned off. Select the texture. Change the scale. And let's make sure the operation of this particular height map is set to subtraction because I found out that it works best with our terrain with that method, which basically just inverts the height map to be the opposite values. And the height on this height map works best at around 0.5. Last for this one, I want to go ahead and just change our level strength sliders a bit to fit what's right. And last but not least, let's see how this height map looks with our distort filters turned back on. This looks good, but let's adjust our X and Y scale to stretch our effect a bit. I'm going to change it to 5,000 by 8,000. That should do pretty good. So using a height map as the main shape or as an aid to your terrain can really help seal the look of a desert. It's all depending on the location of the type of desert you're wanting to portray in the world and how drastic you're wanting to go with the effects with how many filters you want to use, or if you're just wanting to use a basic height map of an actual world value or a sand value that we have here. All can be achieved to get the effect that's desired. Till next time, thank you for watching everyone.